hello my dear students in this video now we are going to study about the preparation and properties of the pyrazine pyrazine structure is like this and uh, we can call it as the 1 comma 4 diazine di means to azine means azote means nitrogen gas look here we call nitrogen gas as a azote so here azi represents the nitrogen so it is diazine so now we go over the preparation methods among them first one is the preparation of the pyrazine by using the alpha diketones so in alpha diketones uh, two c double bond o groups are uh, present in the adjacent positions to each other so <clears throat> this is a diketone uh, this is the simple example for the diketone now we can call it as the 2 comma 3 butadione or butane 2 comma 3 dione or 2 comma 3 butane dione so like that in uh, different ways we can call it as otherwise we can call it as the so look at it is the acetyl group no CH3CO group is known as acetyl group. So we can call it as the diacetyl also. Diacetyl or biacetyl. So with the different names we can mention it. Okay. Then uh, we react this with the uh, ethylene diamine. So look at CH2, uh, CH2 and uh, NH2. So this is known as the ethylene diamine or 1 comma 2 diamino alkene otherwise we can take the other alkenes so in the place of hydrogen we can substitute other alkyl groups okay so but it is a simple diamino alkene and now it is known as the 1 comma 2 diamino ethene otherwise we can call it as the ethylene diamine this is the common name So this is ethylene diamine. So now what happens means here. Uh, achha, we have to heat uh, this in the presence of the ether. At a 0 degree centigrade. So this reaction occurs at a 0 degree centigrade. As a result what happens look here. Water molecules goes outside. So 2 moles of water molecules goes outside. As a result, we get the condensed product. So, this is a uh, reducer product of the pyrazine. So, we can name it now like this 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, comma 6. So, 2 comma 3 dihydro pyrazine derivative, 2 comma 3 dihydro, 5 comma 6 dimethyl. Phi comma 6 dimethyl pyrazine. So, from this one, uh, we can obtain the pyrazine by oxidizing this one okay this can be oxidized uh, uh, simply by air by using air look at so if this one is treated with the air uh, in the presence of a koh so oxidation takes place and these hydrogens go outside as a result we get the pyrazine Otherwise, we can oxidize this with the uh, metal oxides like uh, molybdenum oxide, sorry, manganese dioxide and uh, copper oxide. Or we can use the copper oxide uh, and we have to add this two metal oxides uh, in the presence of the al what is it, alcoholic KOH. So, in the presence of alcoholic KOH. Either uh, this manganese dioxide or uh, cupric oxide oxidizes this one to the pyrazine derivative. The same product here also um, we are getting here also. Okay. 
otherwise uh, we can use the copper chromide mixture copper chromide and we have to heat it to 300 degrees centigrade as a result uh, we get the same compound for the second preparation method that is the Bucci reaction. In Bucci reaction we use the alpha hydroxyl amino ketone. So look here this is ketone group so here we put the CH3 and on the alpha position we have to take the imine group. So here that too hydroxyl imine group. So this is hydroxyl imine group. Imine means C double bond N group. Okay. And on this nitrogen, we are having the hydroxyl group, and this is at the alpha position. So that's why it is known as the alpha hydroxyl imino ketone. Alpha hydroxyl imino. So this group is hydroxyl amino. NOH group is known as hydroxyl, and uh, this C double bond is known as imino. So this is alpha hydroxyl imino group. Okay, na? this is present at the alpha position. Imino ketone, okay. It is treated with the allyl ketone. So, look at this is allyl amine. Allyl amine, okay. Uh, <clears throat> when we uh, here, uh, what is it? allow these two to react with each other what happens first of all we get a uh, condensed product okay So this is the condensed product. Then uh, if we treat this one with the tertiary butoxide, potassium tertiary butoxide, uh, this one undergoes isomerization. Isomerization and uh, what happens means look here, this double bond will be shifted here. And we are having OH group and we are having the CH3 and here also we are having one more CH3. So now we can call it as the 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 1, 2, 3 and 4, this is a 5 and 6 now. So uh, now we can call it as the what is that? Uh, so hexatrine, but here uh, at the first position and at the fourth position uh, nitrogens are present. So that's why we can call it as the one comma four uh, <coughs> diaja hexatrine. One comma four diaja. Hexatrine, but at the first position, uh, hydroxy group is there. So, one hydroxy this is substituted group. So, now we can call it as the uh, one hydroxy, one comma for diaja hexatrine. Okay, no? uh, hexatrine now. When we treat this with the chloroformate, chloromethyl formate, this is the chloromethyl form, methyl chloroformate. Otherwise, formate is simply we can call it as the formate ester, but here we write the full name that is the methyl chloroformate.
so when we treat uh, with this methyl chloroformate or the or sorry uh, <coughs> o acetylation takes that means acetyl group will be substituted on the oxygen of the hydroxyl group so as a result uh, we get this one and uh, this on heating uh, cyclization takes place and here um, we get the what is it uh, cyclized product look at this one shifts here and uh, this one shifts here and uh, this one shifts here okay CH3 O C double bond O O C H three and we are having C H three. Okay. And uh, this one on a further heating uh, what is that uh, loses uh, carbon dioxide this one carbon dioxide and methyl alcohol. So C O two and methyl alcohol both will go outside. As a result, what happens? We get the pyrazine derivative. Now, its name is what is its name? What is that? Acha, we can name like this one, two, three, four, five, six. So two, three, and five. Trimethyl pyrazine. Okay. We go for the third preparation method. That is the uh, from glycine. Okay. Na? So glycine form is NH two CH two two COH. Glycine is a amino acid. So when it is heated, it undergoes a self condensation, and we get the two comma five diketo piperazine. This is a piperazine compound. This an oxidation gives us the two comma five dihydroxy uh, pyrazine. Two comma five dihydroxy pyrazine. go for the fourth preparation method that is the eza wittig reaction we know very well that in wittig reaction from carbonyl compounds we get the alkenes you no know? so here this reaction is very much similar to the eza wittig reaction here in this reactions we get double bond between carbon and nitrogen so that's why here we call it as the eza wittig reaction so here uh, as a starting material we take the acetophenone uh, substituted rest of phenone here uh, first let us look at this one look here so this is s2 phenone okay now but here one in the place of one hydrogen we are substituting azide so it is known as the alpha azido s2 phenone so alpha azido s2 phenone Okay, and then it is treated with the triphenyl phosphine P P H three. Okay, so this is triphenyl phosphine. Otherwise, we can write it in the bracket also. Triphenyl phosphine. Okay, so on treating uh, like this, what happens means we get the alpha phosphorzinyl ketone. So. So this is alpha carbon. So this is known as the alpha phosphorzinyl ketone. Mm -hmm. 
this alpha phosphorylal ketone undergoes self condensation as a result uh, we get a reduced pyrazine so look here for convenience we write like this mm, we write this benzene as ph okay na? in the reverse manner we write here so look here so what happens means here this one breaks here breaks here and uh, uh, triphenyl phosphine goes also in the form of uh, triphenyl phosphine oxide So this is self condensation. No? Self condensation and uh, triphenyl phosphine oxide is going out. Two molecules of triphenyl phosphine oxide is going outside. Okay. So as a result, what happens means. So, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, and six. You know, so we are having two come of five diphenyl, two come of five diphenyl, uh, three come of six dihydro. Pyrazine. So it is a reducer product of the uh, pyrazine and uh, to get the pure pyrazine we have to oxidize this one no? so on oxidizing this one hydrogens will be removed and we get the pyrazine derivative pyrazine derivative okay So this is uh, two comma five uh, diphenyl phosphazine. Sorry, mana. What is it? Pyrazine. Okay. So in azabitic reaction. We take the alpha azido acetophenone as the starting material. Alpha azido acetophenone as the starting material. And we treat this with the triphenyl phosphine. This is known as the triphenyl phosphine. So we get a, <coughs> a condensed product that is the alpha phosphazenyl ketone. This one this further undergo self condensation and uh, we get a uh, <coughs> reducer product of the pyrazine this one on oxidation gives us the uh, pyrazine product okay now we go for the fifth preparation method that is the uh, from alpha amino ketone Okay, na? so so look here. This is the ketone, and this is amine group, and this is present in the alpha position. So that's why we call it as the alpha amino ketone. So here we can uh, use the various types of alkyl or allyl groups. Okay, na? so this is known as the alpha amino ketone. Alpha amino ketone. So this alpha amino ketone, sorry, here we had put undergoes self condensation. Alpha amino ketone, okay. Na? 
so undergo self condensation in the presence of base so water will be removed from here and here okay na so water molecules goes outside and we get a condensed product alpha i mean a ketone so we get a condensed product here so it is a reduced form of the pyrazine so to get the reduced pro oxidized product that means the pyrazine we have to oxidize this one so on further oxidation this one we get the pyrazine product so this is the tetramethyl pyrazine so i think there is no need to mention uh, the number because we have only four carbons are there no and four are occupied so that's why we can simply call it as the uh, tetramethyl pyrazine okay tetramethyl pyrazine now we discuss about the chemical properties of the pyrazine pyrazine pka value is 0.6 whereas the pka values of the pyridine is 5.6 and pyrimidine sorry this is pyridazine pyridazine pka value is 2.3 and pyrimidine pka value is 1.3 here by this values we can say that pyrazine is weak base compared to the all these three compounds because we know very well that uh, basicity is directly proportional to the pka value okay na so here i have written in a rank manner that is here it is decreasing order okay so from pyridine to the pyrazine the pka values are decreasing so basic nature also decreases in this order only now we go for the aromatic uh, character benzene resonance energy is 36 kilo kelvins per mole whereas the pyrimidine peak uh, resonance energy is 26 kilo kelvins per mole and uh, pyrazine pk uh, what is the resonance energy is 24.3 kilo kelvins per mole and pyridazine resonance energy is 12.3 kilo joules for kilo, sorry kilo kelvins per mole that means pyridazine is less aromatic pyrazine is less aromatic than the benzene and pyrimidine and pyrazine is more aromatic than the pyridazine okay na? so resonance values tell us uh, where they stand in their aromatic character when we compare with others okay now we go for the electrophilic substitution reactions and <coughs> Uh, this pyrazine rarely participates in the electrophilic substitution reactions because in this uh, pyrazine uh, carbon is having a positive charge and nitrogen is having the negative charge so that's why it rarely participates we can understand uh, this by looking at these resonance structures look here in all these resonance structures carbon is having the uh, positive charge and nitrogen is having the negative charge okay so that's why pyrazine rarely participates in the electrophilic substitution reactions but when uh, electron releasing groups are present then they easily undergo the uh, electrophilic substitution reactions for example here 2 methyl pyrazine when heated with chlorine in the presence of carbon tetrachloride at 40 degrees centigrade we get the 2 methyl 3 chloro pyrazine okay na? now we go for the electrophilic substitution reaction by looking at these reactions we can say that in uh, all these structures carbon is having the positive charge you know so here pyrazine uh, readily undergoes the nucleophilic substitution reactions here when this pyrazine is uh, subjected to the chichibobin reaction that means when it is treated with the sodium iodide in the liquid ammonia we get the two amino pyrazines here uh, this is the two chloro pyrazine 
this two chloropyrazine and when uh, treated with sodium and liquid ammonia we get the mixture of these three compounds this is two aminopyrazine and this is the two cyanoimidazole and this is the imidazole so this nucleophilic substitution reaction here it is known as the chichibobin reaction chichibobin reaction pyrazine and oxidation with the acetic acid inherited in the presence of hydrogen peroxide uh, gives us the pyrazine anoxide only and if it is oxidized with the metachloroparbenzoic acid in a trifluoroacetic acid uh, gives us the pyrazine n comma n dioxide pyrazine n comma n dioxide <clears throat> pyrazine on a reduction with the sodium ether ethyl alcohol gives us the hexahydropyrazine and reduction with the lithium in the presence of the trimethyl silyl chloride gives us the 1 comma 4 dihydropyrazine uh, <clears throat> here pyrazine shows this on a free radical substitution reactions also pyrazine on treatment with the formamide and hydrogen peroxide in the presence of the ferrous sulfate and sulfuric acid at 60 degrees centigrade gives us the 2 amido pyrazine 2 amido pyrazine so here amide group is substituted at the second position this is known as the amidation or amidation reaction okay when it is treated with the hydrogen bromide we get the 2 bromo pyrazine <clears throat> when chlorine <coughs> Heated with pyrazine at 400 degrees centigrade gives us the 2 chloropyrazine. And this is the monoethyl oxalate. So, when pyrazine is heated with the monoethyl oxalate in the presence of the Na2S2O8, that means the sodium persulfate with AgNO3 in the presence of DCM and H2SO4, gives us the 2 carbethoxy 2 carbethoxy pyrazine. So, this is uh, CO over CTH5 group is known as the carbethoxy group. Okay, na? so this is substituted at the second position to carbethoxy pyrazine. So, these are the uh, chemical properties of the pyrazine. <coughs>